So in the previous video, we learned how to keep a score for a Pong game. We created a variable called count. We initialized that to zero whenever we hit the start button. And then after that, when each time the ball hits the paddle, we increment the value of that variable by one. So at any point in time, the count variable will contain the score, which is basically the number of times the ball has hit the paddle. Now, in order to display this, value on our screen while we are playing the game. The method that I'm going to use is that I'll go ahead, go back to my browser window and add another button beside my start button. So I just dragged and added another button. Now I'll go ahead and rename this button to score button. It's good to name all my components with meaningful names because at that point it's easy to figure out what the purpose of that button is. Now notice each button displays a text. So over here we are going to remove this text. And then what I'm going to do is use the value of the variable count as the text for this button. So in this way we are going to display the Score. We are going to set up a button and we are going to use the current value of the count variable as the text for that button and that's what we are going to display. So in, in effect it's going to show us a running score for our game. So now that I have added a button and I've set it to zero, I'm going to go back to my block editor and now as you can notice over here we have an entry for score button. Now. The first thing I want to do is whenever I start the game, I want to set the value of that button to zero. So what I'll do is I'll drag, I'll click on that score button and then I'll look for the score button dot text block and I'll drag and put that under this main block on the top left. So now what we are doing is when we are starting the game, I'm going to set the value of my score button's text to the value of the counter. Now the counter stores a number. On the other hand, that the button displays a text. So in order to show the value, we first need to convert the number to text. So in order to do that, we'll go back to this built-in text and then look for call make text. So what this does is this takes anything else and converts that into text. Now we will go back to my block, my definitions and grab this count block. So what this in effect does is takes the value of a count variable, converts that to text and sets that as the text for the button that we have added. So this is the first time when we click the start button. At that point the button will start showing zero. Now, over here, each time the ball hits the paddle, the count is updated by one. So each time our score is updated, we want to update that on our button as well. So I'll just copy this block from here and paste that over here. And I'll just add that to my ball colliding with the paddle part. So now whenever the ball collides with the paddle, my count is incremented by one and then that value is converted to a text and is displayed on the button. So let's now see what happens. So this is my emulator now. The start button has gone down a little bit. So I scroll there. Now I hit start. So now notice we have a working score. If I restart the game, it starts at zero again. 